What is up, Maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one. And today I'm going to be showing off a new working anti-meta deck. Of course, one of the biggest in the meta is Kashatira, so I did focus a lot on trying to stop banishing and stuff like that. But for the most part, this deck works pretty well for most metas. So a lot of times you do get bricky hands, but either way, this thing is being tested as of yet, and I'll show off the deck list at the end of the video. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. And make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are currently using in ranked against all these meta decks because honestly, it's crazy. And I've been using uh, Cash Tears, and they're super strong and very powerful to deal with. So, nonetheless, let's hop right into it. For our first match, we are going to be going first, and we're just going to set a Book of Eclipse, because that's kind of all we have. And the Lightning Storm gets rid of that, so we have absolutely nothing. Okay, Dark Contract. Okay, Prison. We're going to play Unchains and the DDD. Lord of Darkness. Okay, DD Swirl Slime. Gonna go into the DDD Flame. High King. Okay. The Night Howl. They're going into the DDD King. And we're gonna go into the Nib. Nib is one of the must haves when going against Kashtira because they are gonna be special summoning like crazy and they don't have that much negate so pretty awesome okay let's see what we can do here we are gonna go ahead and harpy's feather duster that back row alrighty okay they're gonna be able to special summon that and pop our nib we are gonna kaiju them and swords of concealing light Face down. Can activate effects, so this is also very good against Cash Tiras. Ooh, okay, we're gonna get the Fossil Dine out and put the Moon Mirror Shield on that. And get rid of our um prime me prime you know what I mean. Our nib. Our nib token. Okay, they don't have anything else. Very shocking. Okay, we got the Imperm. We are going to go ahead and attack our Kaiju. They draw. And they surrender. They could not do anything without special summoning. So, pretty toxic. Let's hop right in to the next match. And for our second match, we are going to be going first. Pretty strong here with the Necro Valley and everything. So, we're going to go ahead and activate the Necro Valley. Get the fossil dino and set an imperm. So we're gonna see what we could do. This is not a strong hand by any need strong start by any means, but Harpy Sword Duster destroys Okay. Alrighty. Black Meteor. Okie dokie. They surrender? Did they like forget that they can't special summon? They should have went into battle, attacked the fossil dino, and then continued their combo. Either way, they screwed up and surrendered. So let's hop right in to the next match. And for the third match, we're going to be going first. And we have a super strong start here. So we're going to go ahead and activate the Necro Valley. And they're going to instantly surrender. They do not want to play against the Necro Valley. So I guess they needed their graveyard extremely badly because they just instant surrender. Freaking crazy. So let's hop right into the next match. And for our fourth match, we're going to be going first. We have a pretty strong freaking hand here. Start off with the Commandant. Get a Necro Valley. Activate the Necro Valley. Activate the Inspector Border. Set our cards and pass turn. So we have a Book of Eclipse, Imperm, Iron Wall. Super strong. Okay. Elemental Heroes. Okay. They can activate their effects. What are they doing? Nothing. They pass turn. Okie dokie. Get another Inspector Porter. We're just going to go ahead and enter battle. 
destroy that one. And set the other one because you can't play face up. You have to set it. Okie dokie. Shadow. They take some damage. Okay, we got a Chaos Hunter. Nothing we can do now, but we just enter battle. Deal 3,000. And pass turn. So let's see what our opponent has now. Okay, this set a card. Very interesting. Okay, we get to command it. We're gonna summon it, attack with it, and then finish it off with the inspector borders. Holy moly, we shut freaking heroes down hard. Especially if they can't get their fusions out. They can't basically do anything because they have no effects. Alrighty, let's hop right into the last match. And for our last match, we are going to be going second. With this deck, it's fine going second. It's not terribly, terribly crazy. Okay. Ooh, Dogmaticas. Very interesting. Okie dokie. Alrighty, Maximus, we're going to Chaos Hunter here, they're going to Maxi, okay, we're going to throw some stuff in the graveyard, they got an Antis and Herald, we got, we threw our, both Aaron, our Ants in, so we're going to freaking clear the board with them. They're going to clear our board, which is fine. We're back to square one, basically. Albazoa, okay. And they're going to be able to get their ritual monster out, okay. Albazoa, this looks terrifying. Okay. Ventus wouldn't work. We should have used it on this field spell, but we are bots. We do not read. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and kaiju. And dark hole. And set Book of Eclipse. Once you do that, we are gonna pass the turn. Let's see what they got. They got nothing. All right, hopefully the Pot of Extravagance gives us some good stuff. I'm gonna activate Pot of Extravagance. Okay, not the greatest, but it's all good. We got the Necro Valley out. Alright, what does our opponent have? They have a freaking surrender button. Okay. I guess they couldn't do anything against the Neck Valley. Pretty crazy. So, let's hop right into the deck list. So, for our current anti-meta deck, we're going to go through it. We got three Gravekeepers Commanded, three Fossil Dinas, three Inspector Borders, Boss Monster, uh, two Chaos Hunters, one Lava Golem, two Sea Turtle Kaiju, three Nibiru, one Dark Hole, one Regeki, one Harpy's Feather Duster, two Pot of Extravagance, three Moon Mirror Shields, three Necro Valley, two Swords of Concealing Light, three Book of Eclipse, three Imperms, one Skill Drain, and three Imperial Iron Wall. For the extra deck, you can just kind of throw whatever you want in there. Normally, they're just basically targets for the Pot of Extravagance, but as you saw, the Antis does work well and comes in clutch. So. Let me know what you guys think of this deck. Honestly, I didn't go up against too many cash tiers. I think I'm going to use it more, and if I get some cash tier gameplay, I'll definitely show it off. But I hope you enjoy. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. It helped me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. But I'll catch everybody in the next one. Peace.